Oh my gosh. <laughs> it just keeps getting worse and worse. This is now known as Spider Beach arachnophobia city up in here oh my gosh guys welcome back welcome one and all to our arc primal fear prometheus here i should call this the pro promethean primethean primethean fear primetheus fear the primetheus fear series oh why did i think of that what a clever name yet yeah, we waited till like episode six to actually think of it guys welcome back what and all uh i was just having a little bit of a skim down this beach just to see how a little spider situation is going uh you would think being australian i'd be used to seeing all of these spiders around my home around my house around my place of living and comfort but no no not not at all not at all in fact i'm telling you this spider has it in for me like he is slowly he's i don't know he's got them tracking abilities he just, he's got a, a thirst for human. He wants to eat humans. And it's my job to make sure he does not. Which is why we've ventured up here. Uh, last episode, we went to build a bit of a, a mountain base. Because I feel like anywhere on the ground is just far too dangerous for this beautiful little body right here to be living. Um, if it's not one thing, it's the other. And it's only a matter of time before something comes along and takes on that Alpha Aranio Broodmother and replaces him with something even stronger again that also has it in for us. But really, that thing there, that, that, that giant spider, he started over here by wiping out the local tribe that we were like in the middle of being friends with. He then roams on down the beach all the way over to our original base. And now he's trying to climb the mountain to get up to me. He's literally, he's tracking me. He's trying to get to me. We're not gonna let it happen. I think I think we're safe enough up here, but we're probably gonna have bigger things to worry about sooner or later. But I did wanna look into something today. I wanted to slow things down just a little bit. We have a mod called the Dino Colorizer. I can't craft it. Ah! Oh, I wanted to see if we could get this Dino Colorizer. I wanted to paint my dinosaurs. I feel like we should do that. We gotta paint our little Pteranodon who still has no name and our Griffin who still has no name. I mean, I think it's obvious what we're gonna be calling you. We may as well just go ahead and do it. You can't look past Peter Griffin. It's just how it is. Peter the Griffin, welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Um, what I do wanna do though, yes, I wanna still gonna go down that pathway. What do we actually need? There is this diarrhea thing. Uh, oh, you're gonna be like level 90 to get that. We can craft some black dye, I suppose. We need a little cooking station thing and Bobby Domi. What are we going to need? Let's actually find out. So if I want to get a little bit of a little cooker, if I want to get this thing going, we're going to need these. We're going to need some polymer. We should be able to find some obsidian. We are in a rocky region, so it couldn't be that hard to find, surely. But um, we're going to have to, yeah, we're, we're going to have to go looking for it, I suppose. But if I want to get 50 black dyes, uh, charcoal, knuckle berries, and water. Oh, we are going to need a lot of water. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We are as far from water as we could possibly be. We've got a little bit of charcoal, though. I should be burning wood up in here as well. You know what? I'm going to do that. We're going to make that switch. Uh, for some reason, my smithy is still munted. I don't know what's going on there. It's 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 a weird and wacky situation. It just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. This doesn't... This isn't normal. Neither is this one. You can tell this one's kind of got a bit of the same issues. It's shiny. It's shiny wood. The wood has reflecting properties nobody polished it that hard i don't know why that's happening but it's it's happening it's happening we just got to accept it so if we wanted to get 50 of these black dyes back onto that what are we gonna need if i want 50 we need 700 knuckle berries and 80 charcoal oh and a lot of water of course so we basically need everything we can get the knuckle berries the only issue is uh we need to get a harvester someone who can actually harvest this stuff for us so maybe that's what we go looking for at the beginnings of today maybe it's time we go on the hunt for a for a like a for a berry collector we need berries i don't know how they're gonna survive in this world but uh let's get some of these little team helpers because they're gonna speed up the process a little bit for us uh i think you've got my berries on you currently though don't you not many so we're gonna have to get some of them as well that's okay peter that's okay buddy let's regular on let's get a move on so what type of uh what type of griffin is that a caustic griffin oh my gosh i think i am in love 
Imagine that. That would be epic to have. Hmm. There's nothing really along this beach that I want to be messing with, to be honest. Uh, everything on this beach will kill us in a heartbeat. So I think we're going to go pick a different direction to head in today. Um, the direction of the, what was it? The Primal Giga that we very, very briefly kind of passed. What is up with these trees? Man, everywhere I look, there's something just to catch my attention. Wait, what is that? Wait, 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 wait. What is, what, what is, what are these guys? Hold on just a second. Hold your horses, guys. Hold your horses. An alpha dimorphodon. Corrupted. Oh, these guys are massive. Okay, yeah, nah, 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 <laughs> near nah. If they catch on to us, we dead. We dead. We as dead as dead can be. Okay, we should probably stay close to our base because I have no, I, I have no way of getting, oh boy, look at that. Is that a rock drake? An alpha rock drake just spinning on a tree. Also, an alpha just died, so that's kind of nice. Oh boy, another one of these caustic, a caustic megaraptor. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. We're never going to find a nice, peaceful creature to get a couple berries for us. Actually, I just changed my mind. I think I know the perfect place to check. Also, is there a little thingy? <gasps> there's a, there's a, there's an, ah, uh, we don't need no experience boosts, but we got to remember this spot for when we do need an experience boost. This is the place to, this is the place to look. If we need a little, uh, explorer note action, that's where we're going to go looking for it. So... Are there any <laughs> are there any herbivores up here? That's basically what we're looking for. If I can find a herbivore up in the mountains, that would be just delightful. Uh, not you. Not you at all. Um, but it doesn't look like we're going to have much luck. So I'm going to return down here to where we found that Alpha Brontosaurus. Maybe we can tame him? Maybe we can just find a little herbivore and we can kind of leave him down here with the spiders for a little while until the right opportunity arises. <laughs> Maybe we can take one of these guys. We've never had one of these before. A Striacosaurus. I don't even know what it is, but it sounds kind of cool. What else have we got out here? We've got Pteranodons. we got Parasaurs. Not too interested in the Parasaurs, though. Wait a second. An Elder Moss Chops. What in the world? Look at the size of this thing. Oh my gosh, it's massive. 116,000 Dorpor. Man, people want me to... People have been wanting me to get a Moss Chops for so... Okay, that's not good. Can we, can we just keep an eye on our torpidity, please? Uh, because this is less than ideal. However, this would make for a beautiful base location. You know, aside from the boss UD Ratnus behind us, and aside from the massive dragon we saw up in the mountains the other day, aside from all of that sort of stuff. But no, I think we're going to settle for one of these Striacosaurus. It's a bit of a tongue... Oh, this guy's a tough guy. Uh, he needs 91 Metro Berries to tame. That's fine. Oh, max level, baby. Wait. Okay. So we're going to have to knock him out. we got to knock him out, right? I hope we got to knock him out because I can't be bothered just sitting around and like... Yeah. Anyways, we're going for this max level boy right here. I think we'd be stupid not to. Let's see if we can make it happen without... Oh, we got our little... What now? What now? Pegos? For real? I don't know why. I'm on my griffin here. We could just use our little pike. I'm so heavy. On your way, guys. Oh! He took my grenades! Give me back my grenades, you piece of trash! Give me back my... You can... You can... You can... Go rotten hell, too. Get out of here. You got my grenades. Oh, you little bugger. I was about to cry if he stole all 500 of my grenades. What did you take? A jet... Where? Where did I even get an alpha mammoth saddle from? I don't know. I don't care either, though. I'm gonna go throw a grenade at this thing and see what happens. <laughs> Please do something good. That did nothing. What good are you, grenade? Well, that was really anticlimactic. Oh. Oh, no, he's just doing a poop. Okay. So it's like laxatives. They're laxative grenades, then, are they? That's highly, highly disappointing. Anyways. That's why we got these arrows. These arrows should get the job done just fine, Peter. You're going to want to get out of here, buddy. You're gonna want to get out of here, buddy. Peter. All right, don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. Do not get out of the water. Oh, no. Ah, uh, spoiled meat. You can have that. I'm out of arrows. Oh, no. Oh, this is not ideal. Um, Itchy, get out of the way. Leave me alone. For once in your life, just bugger off, you stinking seagulls. Come on. I have to deal with you guys enough in real life. I don't want to have to deal with you guys in the game. 
You want some of this? That was the worst throw of my life. Maybe we just gotta shoot it with an arrow. He's gonna, like, the second I stop watching him. Good. I don't even care anymore. I was gonna say, the second I stop watching him, he's gonna just, like, swoop down and steal something else from me. It's gonna happen. Anyways, this guy here is KO'd. The only issue is we got no berries. Oh, man. What we do have is wild dilos in the area. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. A little bit like that, but we all good. So we're going to need exactly 100. 100 medjo berries. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, aren't we in for a wild ride of a collection spree? But while I'm going and collecting this, you know what you guys should do? You should head down beneath the video, drop a subscription on the channel, make sure you ring that bell so you're notified and don't miss a single upload because you're not going to want to miss an absolute single moment of the series. Oh, you piece of trash. You piece of trash. Get your butt back here. These pegos, man. Ah. Oh. Disgusting, vile creatures. You know what I'm gonna do? You too! You give me back my poison grenades! <laughs> they just want my grenades! That's not cool. I mean, these grenades are pointless, so I don't know why I care so much about them, but... My gosh! This is some next level, just trashery right here. So, let's go get some more berries. Because, uh... We're going to be picking berries for quite some. What is that? What is that? Nope, that's not a Striacosaurus. Please tell me what that is right this second before I go on any further. That is a... A Harpy Watchman? What is that noise? I don't like... Bad noises! Stop making such loud noises around me. There is something weird and so somewhat beautiful up in the distance over there. It's. I think it says Harpy Watchman. But I don't want to get any closer. <laughs> I kind of just want to find out from a distance. I also kind of want to see how much health it has from a distance. Because I don't plan on going very close to it. We... Oh, boy. It doesn't look friendly. <laughs> I take back what I said about it being beautiful. It's far from beautiful. It's a vile, disgusting creature. I think... Oh, man. T-Rexes fighting Stegos. Who wins? Nobody knows. Level 100 Rex. Come on. I want to steal that experience from him. Oh, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. Am I going to get it? Yeah, there we go. All right. Still keeping an eye on whatever. What is that? I don't recognize it. I shouldn't be out here, by the way. It's just like a mistake waiting to happen. I'm going to get this prime meat there. Guarantee that. Okay. Why do the bushes have to be inland? Why do the bushes have got to be with all the mean dinosaurs? Oh, man. All right, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. It is what it is. We just got to do what we got to do. All right. Now, I think we can actually get a good look. I'm just going to hide behind this rock. I'm going to crouch down. I'm going to be super silent. What is it? Oh, it's an Ovis. It's a bloody sheep. It's a sheep! <laughs> that is the most evil looking sheep I've ever seen! Oh my gosh! I want to see its health though. I want to see how strong it is. I can't see its like, I can't see its stats. I don't want to get any closer to it. Also, there's a dead something right there. It doesn't look, what is that? I shouldn't get any closer. Oh, it's Kano. You got anything now? It's, oh no, it's an aloe? Aloe. Kano. All right, we're way too close. We're way too close. Harpy, Harpy Watchman. 14.6 million health. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm turning around. We're, we're probably closer than we should be already. Hey, you don't happen to have a taste for spiders, do you? Because there's a big old spider infecting my beach currently, and he kind of needs somebody to come and take care of him. If you like spiders, we can, uh, you know, we can work something out. We can work something out. He's devaluing my property at the moment. I'll be happy to uh, give him up to you. I think we're getting close though, guys. I think we're very, very close. 64 medios. We need another 36 of them. And we should be able to get this guy tamed up all the way. Honestly, I'm just happy I'm still alive. <laughs> that's all I really... That's all I'm happy about. Oh, we're going to have to get a saddle for this guy too, aren't we? Completely forgot about that little part. Okay. 22 more to go. Um, 
He should be still. He's all good. He's, he's going to be asleep for some time yet. I might just feed him like other berries. I don't care. All right, let's go. We got plenty of stuff to feed you. So we're going to start off with one of these. I just want to see how far this food drops. Quite a bit. I got 85 medjos. And then I'll give you some little red boys as well, eh? I'll give you some little red fellas too. He's going to... Uh, he's going to lose a little bit of taming effectiveness. So he's going to be slightly less than a perfect tame, unfortunately. But... That's okay. He's going to be pretty good anyways. Maybe even while we're waiting for that to happen, we can go and gather the remaining 12 medjos that we need. But i uh, got a good feeling about this. He's going to be tamed up in no time. Okay. So, we should have them remaining. Oh, we got 13. Perfect. Okay. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. Well, he's got everything that he needs from us then. We've still got one more tame helper. Uh, but it doesn't look like we're gonna need it because his food has absolutely tanked. So we're gonna hold on to that. We got so many berries on us. So we don't even need a berry harvester at this stage. We've got like everything that we need. What I do want to find out though is what do we need? Oh, what do they use for saddles? A striacosaurus. Huh. Actually, I have an idea. There is this little thing, a taming journal. Can I craft one of these? I have never had one before. We need 12 thatch, 2 wood. This might actually give us the information that we need. This might give us, like, all the information that we need. I don't know why I didn't craft this, like, 100 years ago. Let's have a quick little read of this thing. And see if it opens up or at least answers any of the questions uh, that we might have <laughs> currently. I, I imagine this thing's a little bit like the... Oh, we placed it on the ground? Oh, no, I just want to read it. I don't want to... No, I just want to... Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. So, loading journal entries. Oh, or do we need to like learn about all of the creatures before it gives us any information? This is interesting. I feel like it's going to be loading for quite a while because <laughs> we have so many mods installed. It's probably like whizzing through a bajillion different creatures and loading all of their entries in. Um, interesting. I'll tell you what, it gets a little bit laggy. So no, 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 no. What I'm going to do is going to place it on the ground. I'm going to place it on the ground. Uh, view taming journal. And it's still loading. All right. We'll let you load. This is kind of cool. Get a load of this. You can kind of read the T-Rex page. Immersive tame. Oh! Is this from the immersive taming mod? It might be. So we haven't used immersive taming on any creatures just yet. But uh, we do have the immersive taming mod installed in this series. Uh, basically, it means you can tame creatures by helping them survive against other creatures. Or by pretty much anything. You can like passive team in a sense you kind of like feed them and they warm up to you a little bit as they go uh but yeah we haven't we haven't used that just yet we might not for a little while yet either but i really don't want this guy to get angry which he might we're just gonna move a little bit these guys can get a little bit aggressive they can get a little bit territorial so we don't want to go triggering any of these big boys but my guess is they're either going to use a Triceratops saddle or they're going to use a Apache Rhinoceros saddle. It's going to be one of the two, which hopefully, can we craft both of these? I need hide and I need wood. Well, well, well. We just so happen to uh, have a little bit of hide laying about. We should be good. I knew we killed all of these creatures for some reason. Oh no, here we go. The st oh, I just spelt it wrong. It just uses a Styracosaurus saddle. So he actually does have his own saddle. I'm just I'm just dumb. Well, we're just going to sit out, wait for this guy to tame up, and then take him for a bit of a spin and see what he's capable of. All right. Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, he ran out of berries. He actually ran out of berries. Oh, no. What have I done? I thought I had it perfect. I actually thought we had the perfect amount of berries. Oh, I'm heartbroken. My poor little guy here, he's not eating as well as he should be. Although it's not that much of a difference anyways. Anyways, one more little berry. And there he is. We have a new tame. He looks beautiful. I like him. I like him a lot. Let's get that saddle on ya. Oh boy. Come on, dude. Just, just chill out. It's all gonna be okay. Oh, he's a fast guy as well. I like this. Oh, this is cool. So, what is he capable of? He can little do little chunks with his horn. He's got... Oh, he's got a... Oh, okay. So, it's like a track. Okay. You can do that. All right. Stop. Slow down. Slow down. That Elder Moss Chops has come down as well. Uh, he's got a C attack that... Nope, he doesn't. That's it. He's just got the one attack. 
But look at all of the berries is going to give us. Yeah, we do not need to worry about berries no more. That is for certain. Nicely done. We're also going to get a bunch of wood. Wait, is he? Oh, he's a thatch collector. So we got thatch and we got berries. Fantastic. Well, Peter, follow me, my friend. Follow me. Uh, we needed a whole chunk. Oh, I need chitin too, don't I? Oh, he actually deals a lot of damage. Wow. He's dealing more damage than me. Oh, he's a strong fella. All right, I just want the uh, I just want the chitin from this. You should get that kite. Oh, actually. Nope. Didn't have anything on him. Well, only 54 of the good stuff, but it's a good start. Uh, I don't know if this guy's friendly. Let's just hope he is. He doesn't seem like he's attacking anything. He kind of just roams his way around town, minding his own business. We do have a few levels up our sleeve right here, though. Oh, wow. Did quite a bit as well. Nicely done. Okay. So as we... Oh, no. Enforcer. Enforcer. Enforcer alert. I mean, that's okay. They shouldn't attack us. These guys are here to protect us, right? Oh, it's an alpha enforcer. Um, okay. I'm a little bit cautious, though, because if we attack a dinosaur and this scout decides to uh, alert our little buddy over there, we might be in a spot of trouble. So I'm just going to avoid him. Uh, pretend he doesn't exist. Um, and we're going to waddle this guy as close to home as we can possibly get. Although, you know what we should do? If we can kill that enforcer, that's going to be like so much metal electronics. Maybe a little bit of crystal. Definitely some element dust. Like he's going to give us the goods. A nice old head start into uh, metal crafting, that's for sure. But I don't know. It's probably not worth the trouble just yet. We'll get there sooner or later. There's no urgency in taking him down. Even though enforcers are super powerful. I can only imagine how good an alpha enforcer. I can only imagine how good an alpha enforcer is going to be. Just saying, guys, I think we made the uh, correct decision on herbivore taming. Because this guy is an absolute machine. We're just smacking on every little thing along the way. Oh, hello. How do you do? Oh, these pegos, man. These little pegos. They got issues. They got anger problems. Who goes there? <laughs> Not on my watch, little guys. Not on my watch. I wonder if this pathway leads back home. I might actually be able to get this guy back to our base. Not that we need to. Oh, this is where we should have built. Look how flat and perfect this is. But what is that? Oh, no. I recognize that tail. Did you guys catch that? Uh, we have a slight little problem here. And by slight, we have a really big problem. All right. You sit tight, my dude. This is where we part ways for a second. I need to navigate just a, a little bit. A little bit. I saw something that I wish I didn't see. And I can't progress any further until I confirm. Yep, there it is. Oh, I recognize that noise. An alpha. Oh, no. <laughs> He's squealing in my face. Oh, please get down from the mountain. Oh, it's an alpha. An alpha reaper. Oh, my gosh. Um, Let me introduce you to my little spider buddy down here, dude. Uh, you might have a, you might have a taste for spiders. I actually, where is the spider guy? I've said time and time again. Oh my gosh. He is trying to catch me. <laughs> There's the spider. All right. All right. All right. All right. This might be, this might be how we got to get this done. Why is he? No, no, no. Follow me. Follow me. I never thought I'd be saying these words to a reaper, but I mean them. Let me go and get this guy a little bit healthier. All right. If I can get this guy. Oh, I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit. If we can get him over here. Maybe we can start a little bit. Of an, a disagreement between the two of them. Oh, look how fast he moves so quickly. I just don't want him to shoot his poison at me. 
That's that's what I, that's my biggest fear. All right, all right, all right. Yep, 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 yep. I just want him to pop out of the ground in the middle of the spider's nest, which it looks like he's fallen straight into our trap. Nope, now he's in the water. No, he's coming back. He's right on the edge. Um, you know what's going to happen here, right? We're just going to end up dying ourselves. Come on. They're like right next to one another. Oh, boy, that was loud. Come on. Come on. Pop up. Pop up. Get your butt out of the ground, you little pansy. I do not feel good about this. I do not feel good in the slightest. I got a spider to my right and a giant reaper to my left. Oh! And now we've got a... Oh, he's reaching for me! Dude, he just lunges out of the ground. That is next level. All right. Can these guys just fight each other already? Can these guys just, like, go ham on one another, please? If I go high enough... He's, he's literally invisible down there. You can't even see him. I'm super cautious about this, though, because... It looks like he's not losing his aggro on me. Like, he's just circling beneath me. Which means he, he, he might even be able to climb the mountain and follow me home. But who knows? I, I have no idea. He's... He's, he's there. He's following me still. He, he's not losing aggro on me. All right. How high do I have to go to lose his attention? Um, also, in, in shocking news, this guy here decided he wants to come and like live next to our base. Also, giant shadow. Not sure what's going on there. All right. I'm just going to go straight home. He's still down there. He's moving. You can see he's... All right. He's just chilling on the beach. Okay. That's, that's what I want to be seeing. We'll go check up on how little Spider and Reaper are going at some stage. At least we can spot them from here. But if I see any big old puffs of smoke... No, what are you doing? Get back here. You're gonna aggro the rock golem. Yeah, if we see any big old puffs of smoke along the ground leading up here, then I am evacuating straight away. Unfortunately, it looks like the Reaper's got no interest in the Spider though. I do want to get this guy's attention real quick. No, why are you? Stop following me, Griffin. No. I, now, we, now we're just leading a rock golem to our base. Good on you, buddy. Are you proud of yourself? That's fine. All right. He fell. He fell down. That's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Something died. Toxic blood. Oh, man. We just got a bunch of stuff. What did we just... Damn, we got more saddles. Nice. All right. I want to get this guy back home. I'm not... I don't feel safe until we do. Ah, oh, where were these ankylos earlier? This is literally what I was asking for. I wanted herbivores up on this mountain. Nobody wanted to show their face. Oh, there's a saber in our base. There is a saber in our base. I repeat, we have an intruder. He has been dispelled off. Leave him, leave him, leave him. Stop it. Leave him alone. Everybody, just chill out. We're all going to be... No, we're not. We're not going to be okay. We're not going to be okay. We have raptors and sabers. These creatures just follow me around. Leave me alone. All right. All right. I think it's time to end this one here. We've had a successful mission. We've had a very successful day. We evaded some pretty scary creatures. Which was very, very nice. Oh, ooh, hello. That's a nice, that's that's a nice tool. That's a very, very nice tool. We evaded some very, very scary creatures. We tamed up a new berry harvester, which is awesome. We have so many berries now. Look at that. Now we just need charcoal, which we might actually have. So now, as a matter of fact, I think we just need water. Uh, which is going to be a bit massive pain in the butt. A huge pain in the butt. Um, oh boy, we need 50. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I guess uh, tomorrow we are going on a painting spree. But thanks for watching, guys. Unless you want to find yourselves on the pointy end of my spear, I advise you to go down, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell to make sure you've got my upload notifications on. But most importantly, have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.